In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Optimize Press add-on for WP Courseware. Okay, so if you notice, I've got WP Courseware latest version installed, and I've also got the Optimize Press add-on for WP Courseware installed. And you can grab this uh, right on WordPress.org on the plugins area. And so if we go ahead and navigate over to our course units, I have a course unit here that's already set up for demonstration. And basically, uh, the add-on uh, for Optimize Press will enable this meta box over here in the lower right-hand corner. And so to begin the demonstration, I want to add a couple of elements or a single element, a two column text element to be specific. Okay, so now I've got some test content. And if I go and just update this, I want to show what this looks like um, without uh, adding the filter for the navigation box. And so if we click view course unit, you're going to notice I've got the two columns, including the main content area. And in each one of those areas, you're going to notice I've got uh, a navigation box popping up. So this kind of makes it a little cumbersome for somebody who's trying to customize their course units with optimized press. So if we go back to edit our course unit and we check the box down here, this basically enables a filter so that those navigation boxes do not pop up. So if I go ahead and update that, we can click view course unit and you'll notice all of the course navigation boxes are now gone. Okay, so let's go back, edit our course unit. And now what I want to do is add the short code and you can copy the short code right here, uh, right from the meta box here. And let's just copy it into one of our columns. Okay, and we'll go ahead and click update. And if we view the course unit, you'll notice now that the navigation box only shows up one single time, one single instance. So now you can customize your course units and control the output of the navigation box. And this concludes this video tutorial on how to use Optimize Press add-on for WP Courseware. Thanks for watching.